The mission is to preserve and promote uh, works of art created by visual artists who have a link to the Western Reserve. And uh, it's also meant to be a living archive in that we um, rotate works of art from the archive in our gallery space to make those works more accessible to the public. This is not just another art exhibit. Uh, that here are, are a, a life's work may be presented to them in a capsule form, and these are the important things to look at. Look for a large variety of things squeezed into a small space that give you information that you can't get by just glancing at the exhibit. If you do that, you will get absolutely nothing out of it. You'll have to read and look carefully at everything that's in that space. I'm interested in looking at the world and the objects. I look at the objects rather than the background. So that's why my paintings are shaped. And I think part of the artist's role is to open up people's eyes that everything has a potential for beauty. Life is so transitory. You work hard, and when you're gone, you're replaced. And on, in Europe, the great artists had walls where they painted on so people centuries later could look at those elements. Last Supper, Michelangelo, all of those things are still there. But in today's society, once you're gone, you're gone. It just gets frittered away. Uh, all, each artist wants, of course, some of the art to stay in the family, but it's certainly if, if the artist uh, is prolific, there's a lot that um, cannot stay and often it's just given away or thrown away. For a historian, it is very important to have a body of work to, to really study. And this is not available today because the work is so fragmented. Uh, and it doesn't uh, exist with all the peripheral information, such as correspondence and files of, uh, of uh, professional and career files. Uh, there are no drawings. There are no sketches. Uh, and those are the things that go first, because they're on paper. This is basically uh, the cultural heritage of a region. Uh, and what happens to it? And how can we prevent it being destroyed? The Artist Archives of the Western Reserve is a organization that's been in the making for a long time. The main purpose of uh, providing artists with an alternative. And the alternative being that while they're still alive, they can plan for what happens to their work. It's 3,000 square feet of storage space and we have uniform storage racks and they're about six feet high, eight feet wide, and four feet deep, uh, each individual rack. And an artist can have that whole space, which is 32 square feet, or a uh, half of it, or a third of it, depending on uh, how much they want to contribute and how much work they want, want to put in. It's probably the only way in Cleveland right now where a, a major body of work by artists can be preserved and hopefully Cleveland artists will pick up on this, that this is their chance to help preserve art in Cleveland. All the archived artists will have um, their works in digital photograph format, uh, we'll have a slide, li slide library, uh, and we'll have all kinds of clippings and uh, documentation that the artists give us on their whole career. But the archives now is a permanent record for the artists, so 20, 50 years from now, somebody can come to the archives and research us and see what we all did and how we contributed to the society. As far as anything like that exists, other than the Smithsonian, nowhere. 
This organization, believe it or not, is unique worldwide. I can't imagine a community without art. Uh, I certainly wouldn't want to live there. Uh, but historically, uh, from the very beginning of recorded history, there is ample evidence that human beings, uh, after they satisfy their uh, basic needs in that hierarchy of needs, such as food, shelter, clothing, immediately want art. And the cave paintings of, uh, of way, way back, uh, the demonstration of that. Uh, why do they need it? Uh, that's been something that we're trying to solve, but there is uh, unquestionable a, a need uh, that has always been there, uh, and it's been explained in so many different ways. You can't live on bread alone. Uh, and, and I'm not only speaking of the visual arts, but all the arts. Uh, it, it's the, that aspect of our lives which separates us from the next level, which is pretty low.